In 1914, a British infantry division consisted of about 18,100 men. The division was equipped with 5,600 horses, 24 machine guns, 54 18 pounder field guns, 18 4.5 inch howitzers, and 4 60 pounder heavy field guns. Now, in terms of organization and structure, the division consisted of three infantry brigades, which themselves consisted of four infantry battalions each which consisted themselves of four rifle companies and one MG section each. Furthermore, the division had one cavalry squadron for recon, one signal company, three field ambulances, two field companies of Royal Engineers, three brigades of the Royal Field Artillery, each with three batteries, one brigade of the Field Artillery with three howitzer batteries, and finally one heavy battery of the Royal Garrison Artillery. Now you probably noticed there are no regiments in this structure. And for the artillery there are not even battalions. Furthermore, the number of artillery brigades is 4. In contrast to the German infantry division in 1914, which only had one artillery brigade. Yet those four British brigades have a total of 72 guns, which is exactly the same number as the German brigade, which had four battalions. So basically a British artillery brigade is about the same as a German artillery battalion in 1914. Now let's take a closer look at one of the three Royal Field Artillery Brigades. Such a brigade consists of three batteries and each of these batteries had six 18 pounder field guns. In total the brigade consists of 772 men, 23 officers and 748 horses. Yet the mainstay of the infantry division was the infantry or a rifle company. So let's take a look at one of them. Each rifle company consists of 227 men and in total there were 48 infantry companies. Which means that almost 11,000 men out of the 18,100 served in the rifle companies. Similar to the number of artillery pieces in the German infantry division, the number of infantry companies was also 48. Yet the German company had 270 men. Although the total number of men in both division layouts was almost exactly the same, the German division had an additional 2,000 men more serving in the infantry companies than the British. During the war, there were many reorganizations in terms of the division layout. Let's take a look at the original 1914 layout and examine what had changed till September 1916. The cavalry squadron, the MG section and the Royal Garrison Artillery Battery had been removed. Meanwhile, one additional engineer company was added. Furthermore, each infantry brigade had now one MG company and one light mortar battery attached. Additionally, there was one battalion of pioneers, three batteries of medium mortars and one battery of heavy mortars added. Which is similar to the German developments that also increased the number of machine guns and added mortars to the infantry divisions. But beware, take all these values with a grain of salt, because usually every division was different, even without considering combat losses. Furthermore, I combined several different sources here and the author of the main source noted the following. However, the number of discrepancies among the sources is amazing. Even two official history volumes give different numbers for a regular infantry division in 1914. And as a final notice, last week I released an infographic about the German World War I division layout, based on the video I did. If you are interested in infographics and additional information, you can follow me on Twitter and or Facebook. Furthermore, you can download the infographic on my homepage. Also, since quite some people ask for scripts, I added many scripts on the homepage. Those scripts usually contain a bit more extra information and further references. I haven't published old scripts yet, but I'm working on publishing the older ones. And new videos have a link in the description. Also, if you missed it, you can also find the infographic for the Sturmpanzer Kampfwagen A7V there. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and see you next time.